It's in the air, but it's all right. It's away for four. Uh, the uppercut by Logie hit it well. High and to the left of Dante Rhodes. It's four more runs. Oh, that's a terrible flashing Logie square cut. We've seen him play that so many times. It's just exactly as if he's been hit by an electric shock. What a lovely stroke. but it's safe in its four runs well 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 Logie living dangerously outside the off stump but the West Indies have got to do something and that's a typical Gus Logie cut shot screamed away to the boundary for four what a resounding way for Logie to get another boundary Kuiper ball and Logie for a huge hit and that's six Well, that almost brings back memories of New Zealand playing South Africa at Eden Park when Caper went for 18 in the one and only over that he bowled. He just struggled to get it right on line. And, of course, Logie, I mean, he doesn't like to be tied down. He likes to play his shots, but he's... Might have to come back to if Logie goes away again, and it's four more. Well, certainly a bad start for Caper, and Kipla Bessels is not happy with that. Ten runs off only three deliveries. Logie gets it fine, gets four. Waits for it, hits it hard, and that's his 50 with his third four in consecutive balls. Caper is going for them, and Logie's just going after them. So Gus Logie is 53, and that's the West Indies 100. They're 100 for six in the 27th over. It's in the air, and there's a catch. Logie goes. So the two main West Indian batsmen out in the same over from Adrian Keeper. And uh, that really now just about spells doom for the West Indies. It's not all over yet.